Good evening. It's today, Friday, the 29th of May, 2020. Evening prayer starts on page 531. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. The day is now past and the evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, by his death, your only begotten Son overcame death, and through the power of his resurrection he opens to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that we who celebrate with joy in this Paschal season may be raised from the death of sin by your life giving spirit. We ask this through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. Christ now is resurrected. Come, tell it out abroad. The Passover of gladness, the Passover of God, from death to life eternal, from earth unto the sky. Our Christ has brought us over with ends of victory. Our hearts be pure from evil, that we may see aright the Lord in rays eternal of resurrection life. And listening to his accents, may hear so calm and plain his own all hail, and hearing may raise the victor's strain. Now let the heavens be joyful, let earth the sun begin. Let the round world keep triumph, and all that is therein. Let all things seen and unseen, their notes and gladness blend, for Christ, Lord, hath risen, our joy could have no end. Bend down, O Lord, and hear my prayer. Answer me, for I need your help. Protect me, for I am devoted to you. Save me, for I serve you and trust you. You are my God. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I am calling on you constantly. Give me happiness, O Lord, for I give myself to you. O Lord, you are so good, so ready to forgive, so full of unfailing love for all who ask for your help. Listen closely to my prayer, O Lord. Hear my urgent cry. I will call to you whenever I'm in trouble, and you will answer me. No pagan God is like you, O Lord. None can do what you do. All the nations you made will come and bow before you. They will praise your holy name, for you are great and perform wonderful deeds. You alone are God. Teach me your ways, O Lord, that I may live according to your truth. Grant me purity of heart, so that I may honor you. With all my heart I will praise you, O Lord my God. I will give glory to your name forever. For your love for me is great. You have rescued me from the depths of death. O God, insolent people rise up against me. A violent gang. <coughs> Sorry. A violent gang is trying to kill me. You mean nothing to them. But you, O Lord, are a God of compassion and mercy, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love and faithfulness. Look down and have mercy on me. Give your strength to your servant. Save me, the son of your servant. Send me a sign of your favor. Then those who hate me will be put to shame. For you, O Lord, help and comfort me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading today is taken from Hebrews. Chapter 7, reading from verses 8 to 10. Even though Jesus was God's Son, He learned obedience from the things He suffered. In this way, God qualified Him as a perfect High Priest, and He became the source of eternal salvation for all those who obey Him. And God designated Him to be a High Priest in the order of Melchizedek. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us, therefore let us keep the feast. 
not with old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourself dead to sin, and the life to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, and the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as an Adam all die, so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the evening we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. Upon those seeking meaning and faith, pour out your grace, O Lord. Upon those beset by demons of power and greed, pour out your power, O Lord. Upon those who suffer most from the injustices of our society, pour out your justice, O Lord. Upon those whose faith is tested by illness, loneliness, or problems they cannot solve, pour out your strength, O Lord. Upon those who are about to enter your rest, pour out your peace, O Lord. Today we also pray for a very special family of ours. Oramos especialmente por Mónica y también por Gastón, su hijo, que ambos cumplen años hoy. So we pray for Mónica and Gastón. Both of them are celebrating their birthday today. May they be blessed and may all of their wishes come true in accordance to God's will. We also pray for all that are with us on this page, praying daily with us. And we also pray for the whole church. Especially we pray for our presiding bishop, Bishop Todd Bell. We also pray for the upcoming clergy conference, which this year will be held online, virtually. We pray that God will move with the Spirit throughout. So, brethren, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of mercy, in your great love, you drew your Son from the depths of the grave to fullness of life. Bring us likewise from death to life, that we may rejoice in your compassion and praise your goodness now and forever. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for it is you who will redeem me, O Lord my God. Now, O Lord, dismiss your servant in peace, for your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation you have displayed in the sight of all the peoples. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones both near and far away. May God grant us a quiet night and a peaceful death. May the souls of the faithful be parted through the memories and through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen.